best about making a collage, Dinah? You can use any crazy material you want. And somehow, it all fits together. Like red tissue paper, checkered cloth, pictures from a magazine, even pasta. Boy, sure hope I win the blue ribbon for my collage at the school art show. A blue ribbon. You know, Dinah. That's what you win for first place in a contest. <sighs> Gee, I don't know. It needs something else. But I'm not sure what. I'll have to give that some thought. My birthday. No. No. <laughs> going away party. I'm not going anywhere. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Mm, nuts. There must be some excuse for having a party this week. Surprise! Oh, oh, don't do that. I don't like surprises. I think you'll like this one. <laughs> Bouquet for wow! Oh, how lovely! I grew them in my very own garden, Your Majesty. Well, I didn't know you were a gardener, Hare. You must have a green thumb. No, I washed my hands before coming over. She doesn't mean your thumb is green. She means you grow things well. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, I guess I do. But these are a whole new kind of flower. I bred them and grew them just... For Her Majesty, these six flowers are the only ones that have bloomed so far. <gasps> oh, why, thank you, Hare. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you grew them for me, shouldn't they be red? But there are so many red flowers. I wanted to come up with something new so they would win a blue ribbon at the flower show. Blue ribbon? As in first prize. Exactly. I grew blue, blue ribbon flowers for my red queen. Oh. I watered and pruned and I toiled and I sowed. I weeded and mowed and I heaved and I hoed. I selectively bred in my own flower bed. A gift for her highness in red. With my green, green thumb, I grew a blue, blue ribbon flower, fit for the red, red queen. With my green, green thumb, I grew a blue, blue ribbon flower, fit for the red, red queen. I collected and studied, I combined and refined, but you'll never ever find another plant of this kind. Indeed, I've succeeded with this rare, rare breed as a gift to Our Lady in red. With my green, green thumb, I grew a blue, blue ribbon flower, fit for the red, red queen. With my green, green thumb, I grew a blue, blue ribbon flower, fit for the red, red queen. But what are these flowers called? Why, I've left the honor of naming them up to you, Your Majesty. Me? Oh, I, I, I couldn't. No, no, you couldn't. No, 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 that would never do. Why not? 
Don't you think I can come up with a good name for them? Oh, yes, yes, of course, yes, yes. In fact, you could have a party to announce the name you select. Mm. Yes, I could, couldn't I? Mm. A party for naming my new nosegay. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but uh, perhaps it would be better if you named your flowers before you named your nose. Oh, a nosegay is a bouquet of flowers, you silly rabbit. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> a party to name the flowers. What a splendid idea. Ah, and you, Hare, will be the guest of honor. <laughs> oh, wait one moment. For you, Hare, for your good work. <laughs> One for you, one for me, and one for Hare. But I don't see Mr. Hare anywhere. Don't worry. Hare will be here in exactly three seconds. Unless I miss my guest. One, two, three. Hello, Alice. So, Hatter, what kind of tea do we have today? Today, we have chamomile and orange pico. So, achoo! Well, of course I'll choose, since you gave me a choice. Achoo! Okay, okay, I'll choose. I love no, chamomile. Oh, Mr. Hare, I think Mr. Hatter is sneezing. I, I, achoo! Oh, achoo! Achoo! Gesundheit. Goodness, Hatter. I'll go get you some tissues. Mr. Hatter... Why are you sneezing? Well, I've got this funny little tickle in my nose. No, and no, I mean, what's causing you to sneeze? Gee, I'm not sure. But it seems to have stopped. Oh, here are the tissues that you need. Oh, oh, shoo! Shoo! Oh, wait. I'm a shoe! I'm a shoe! Take cover! <laughs> Mr. Hatter, since you don't have a cold, then your sneezing must mean that you're allergic to something around here. Say, maybe you're allergic to the Dormouse. Hey, why don't you blame someone your own size? Sorry, I've just heard that some people are allergic to furry creatures, like a mouse or a dog. A or... or a hare. Would you mind stepping to the other side of the table, Mr. Hare? <laughs> See? Whenever you come close to Mr. Hatter, he starts sneezing. But whenever you step away, he stops. So what's your point? Mr. Hatter is allergic to you, Mr. Hare. But I've never been allergic to hair before. I think an allergy can develop very suddenly, Mr. Hatter. Gee, does this mean we can't have any more tea parties until you get over your allergy? I hate to say this, but sometimes an allergy never goes away. Really? So you're saying that I might never again enjoy a tea party sitting in my old chair next to the Hatter? Chin up, hair. There must be a way to work this out. Whew. I almost sneezed my hat off. Hatter, I'm afraid we've dumped our last donut together. Alice, what can I do? I don't mind losing my hat, but I don't want to lose my hair. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm allergic to my best friend. How can that be? Don't ask me. I'm still trying to figure out how in the world people can be allergic to cats. Every time the hair comes near me, I almost sneeze my full hat off. Wow, this is serious. I'll say, a good friend is nothing to sneeze at. Wow. Well, hair is my friend right to the end. To the end, he'll see me through. That's true. But I'm allergic to hair. It's just not fair. And I just don't know what to do. A good friend will pick you up with you on down. Uh -huh. A good friend will make you laugh by acting like a clown. And a good friend will never, ever let you frown. I'm allergic to hair, and he makes me sneeze. When he comes too close, I tell him, hold it, freeze. 
down on my knees and beg him, please, you must go away or you will make me sneeze. I know it's hard and it's just not fair, but I have a verdict to my friend here. A very good friend is nothing to sneeze at. My best friend here is nothing to sneeze at. A friend like here is nothing to sneeze at. If the hair can't visit you anymore, perhaps the two of you could become pen pals. But we like to have tea parties. <laughs> tea parties through the mail could get a bit messy. Say, I've got the perfect idea. Hatter, instead of a tea party with the hair, why not a TV party? <laughs> sure how we're going to have a tea party with Mr. Hare if he's not going to be here. Oh, it's really quite simple. Hare is about to have tea at his house, but once I tune him in on Crystal, thanks to our video camera, we'll be able to see him, and he'll be able to see us on his TV screen. Oh, so it'll seem like we're at the same tea party. Exactly. Just like old times. <laughs> well, the picture's working. Now we have to find out what channel hair is on. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> this darn remote doesn't seem to be working properly. Oh, here we go. Hair, it's so good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you. You too, Alice. Hi, Mr. Hare. Isn't this fun? Yes, and you're coming in loud and clear. How do I look? Oh, from where I sit, you look... not quite yourself. Oh. <laughs> What's that noise? It's the hair. The hair? Boy, does he need a shave. Oh, shall we have some tea? Yes, yes, please. Uh, won't you join me? <laughs> A toast, my good friend. Yes, a toast. Here, mud in your eye, you desert snake. Oh, come on, you silly thing. Work, work. Sorry, it's my day off. Hatter, Alice, is everything all right at your end? It is now, Mr. Hare. Did you get the special crumpets I sent you, Hare? The crumpets? Oh, they're simply the best, most wonderful way to get rid of unwanted pests. I don't think this TV party's going to work. Good news, Your Majesty. Hare just called to say that a whole new batch of your flowers have blossomed. So he'll be sending over a lovely flower arrangement. For the party. Oh, oh, wonderful. That means that you can hand these out to my guests as they arrive. Oh, perfect, perfect. Pretty petals for petty party people. <laughs> a little alliteration, Your Highness. Starting each word with the same letter. <laughs> T. Oh, uh, have you decided yet on a new name for your lovely flowers? Oh, well, I finally narrowed it down to two choices. The first one is the Queen's Great Big Blue Flower. What do you think? You're right. I hate it. But the other one's better. Oh, uh, what's that one? Well, how should I know? I haven't come up with it yet. Hello, Caterpillar. Writing a letter to a friend? Actually, I'm writing three letters to three friends. They're triplets. Come to think of it, all my pen pals are triplets. I wonder why that is. I really must sit down and write a letter to my friend, the Hatter. Why don't you just visit him the way you usually do? 
Because all of a sudden it seems I make him sneeze whenever I get near him. A friendship should be able to withstand a little sneezing. It's not a little. It's a lot. Maybe some people were just never meant to be friends. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Just listen to this story. Once there was a dog named Doug and a cat named Kate who grew up as best friends. They played the same games. They liked the same food. They even learned to speak each other's language. But eventually, they grew up. And Doug met some other dogs who made fun of him about Kate. How can you be friends with a cat, they teased. Everyone knows that cats and dogs don't mix. And so sadly, Doug stopped being friends with Kate. But Doug's new friends weren't good dogs. One day, someone complained to the dog catcher about the bad dogs. Doug's so-called friends ran off and left him to take the blame. Doug was scared. He didn't know where to turn. And then he remembered his old friend, Kate the Cat. Kate helped Doug hide, and when the dog catcher came, he was sure Doug wasn't there. Because as everyone knows, dogs and cats don't mix. And so Doug learned who his true friend was. From that day, he vowed he and Kate would always stay friends, no matter what anyone said. After all, who says cats and dogs have to fight like cats and dogs? Gosh! If a cat and dog can find a way to stay friends, there must be a way the Hatter and I can get around this allergy. Ding dong! Special delivery for the March Hare. <laughs> My new suit. It's here. Oh, thank you. Lucky for me, I have a portable dressing room. Would you excuse me, please? <laughs> I guess it's true what they say. There's nothing like new clothes to give you a lift. When I'm feeling down to turn myself around, it's off to the clothes shop. I am bound. I try on a coat in my color and size. Some slip on shoes to keep me in stride. When my pants match my shirt, then everything is right. There's nothing like new clothes. Well, how about some super special corduroy? Maybe a five button wool sweater. The only thing I surely do know is when it comes to clothes, the newer the better, not to lose and not too tight. There's nothing like new clothes, there's nothing like new clothes, there's nothing like new clothes. Okay, I'm ready. What kind of clothes are those? It's an anti-sneeze suit. Anti-sneeze? Oh, you mean anti-freeze to keep you warm. No, anti-sneeze. With this suit on, I can visit Hatter and he won't sneeze. Well, you better have a test run first. Make that a test walk. Okay, okay, so the suit isn't perfect. At least I can still visit my best friend. And I can still look my best. <clears throat> one for you, one for me. And none for hair. I sure miss him. So do 
why. Me too. No one should be hairless. How true that is. <clears throat> Don't move, Alice. I'll protect us. Hello. Speak, aliens. I didn't invite any aliens, did you? I don't even know any aliens. It's me. Hair. Hair? What in the world or out of this world are you wearing? It's my new anti-sneeze suit. Anti-sneeze suit? It works! I'm not sneezing! <laughs> What a day this is! Yeah, this is just a river! Ah! No, even the anti-sneeze suit doesn't help. Sorry, Hatter. I thought this would work. Oh, and don't worry. I'll remember to stay far away from you at the flower naming party. So long. I guess it's like they always say. What's that? To stay close, keep away. My flowers. What an honor. Oh, an honor you richly deserve. Tell me, Hare, were you born with a green thumb? No, but I think I had a full head of hair. Oh, flower. Thank you. Flower. Thank you. Flower. Thank you. Hey, what about me? Thanks. You know how important good grooming is to a cat. Hello. Flower? Oh, uh, sorry, Hatter. I seem to have run out of flowers. But there's a whole bunch over there. I can't touch those flowers. Those are for the queen. But perhaps Her Majesty will let you have one after the ceremony. <laughs> Welcome, fellow flower fanciers. We are here today so I can officially name the new flower that hair grew in honor of a great queen, me. <laughs> And now the moment we've all been waiting for. After much serious thought, I've decided to call my flowers. <laughs> What in the world was that awful noise? It's Mr. Hatter sneezing, Your Majesty. I'm afraid he's allergic to Mr. Hare. But he's standing next to Tweedledee. Perhaps he's allergic to both of them. Oh, well then, Hatta, uh, move away from me. Yeah. <clears throat> Now, as I was saying, I decided to name my flowers. <laughs> Hatta, I thought I told you to step away from Tweedledee if you were allergic to him. I did, Your Majesty. Now it looks like I'm allergic to Tweedledum. Well, don't stand next to him either. <clears throat> Now, if there are no more interruptions, I've decided to name my father. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, Tata, who are you allergic to now? Why, he seems to be allergic to me, Your Majesty. But before he got here, he was only allergic to Mr. Hare. Now he seems to be allergic to all of his friends. Don't blame me. After all, I'm above suspicion. Well then, all the rest of you step back and let the Hatter stand by himself in front of the podium. Now, if the Hatter is finished sneezing, I've decided to name my flower. It's the new flowers. My flowers? Mr. Hatter isn't allergic to us. He's allergic to the flowers. Well, if they were still here, I was going to call my new flowers Royal Blue Posies. Oh. But now I'm not so sure. Oh. We need a name so we'll remember to keep them far away from the Mad Hatter. Let's see. 
How about nosy posies? I've got it! Nosy posies! Oh, hey. Hair! My good friend, now we can be together again. Last <laughs> two! <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> A friend who doesn't make you sneeze is a friend indeed. <laughs> Dinah! When I said my collage needed something extra, I didn't mean a big gray cat. What I've decided it needs is... A big blue flower. Perfect. Looks like a blue ribbon collage to me. <laughs> <laughs>